This shim is from my Kawasaki KZ750 engine. It's 1980 Kawasaki four cylinder. And it's got a bucket over shim arrangement. And um, my valve clearances were out. So you have to change these 13 millimeter shims so this shimmer, they can't see it because of the poor image quality, has got a number etched on it. It says 250, which stands for 2.50 millimeters. That's how um, deep it is, the, the depth of the shim, thickness of the shim. And what you have to do to change the valve clearance is to change the shims. Um, you have to do some quick maths which I'm just going to try and explain for people that are unfamiliar with it like I was I've had to figure it out myself because I just didn't know so I've learned and I'll try and share it with other people try and help them so general principle is if you put a slimmer shim in you're going to get a bigger valve clearance or put a thicker shim you're going to get um, a tighter valve clearance and roughly 0 0.05 millimeters is equivalent to a two thou uh, of an inch change and the reason I'm mixing millimeters and inches here is because on my bike the range for the valves goes from three thou to seven thou in a thousandth increments like three four five six seven so it's nice and easy to remember whereas if you calculate in millimeters it gets to be three digits two or three digits and it's a bit harder to sort of remember you know work out so um, I'll try and explain uh, uh, sort of how I've, how I've figured it out as I go so if we just sum up there, then if you're going up or down by five on the number on the shim, so uh, which is the equivalent of 0 0.05 millimeters, that's going up or down two thou. So if the number on the shim went down from 250 to 245, you'd be changing by two thou at the valve clearance. And of course, then if you're up or down by 10, which is 0 0.05, one of a millimeter that's like four thousandths so if we go to a real example of my number one cylinder exhaust valve it had a clearance of three um, thousandths which is right on the limit the lower limit and i wanted to put it in the middle of the range about five thou and it had a 250 shim in there so we put a slimmer shim in a 245 down by um, 0 0.05 of a millimeter uh, which gives us two thou more clearance. So the gap's going to go by two thou if I do that. So it'll take me from the three thou to five thou, which is in the middle of the range. And then I've made myself a little chart um, just to take in the garage later. Obviously, it doesn't have to be uh, fancy like this, but I sat down and thought it through and I did it like this for the video, really. But uh, any old scrap of paper will do. I just did um, cylinders. Uh, one two three four and then I did the old shim that was in there you know the current shim and the old clearance and then the new shim and what the new clearance should be so if we take the example I've just looked at uh, it had a 250 shim in and a 3000 clearance so we dropped that to a 245 um, and that should give us 2000 more clearance um, and then I've just done the same with all the others in fact on this one this is the one that caused all the problem in the first place it had no clearance at all and the recommendation is that you, you step it down significantly. So I've put, I'm going to put 240 in here because, um, and that will that will still take me in range. Uh, Six thou is still in range, but it's on the looser end of things, but it's still okay. But um, you might ask why I've put a, uh, not put 245 in there. And that's because I'm not sure if, uh, if this clearance here is even going to be uh, slightly, um, if you like less than nothing so uh, by which I mean the valve could has to have more more uh, travel or movement in it um, so if I put this one in uh, this 240 in I think we're going to be safer and anyway it's a general principle I think to be um, a bit looser uh, a bigger clearances are a little bit more favorable than no clearance at all. When you've got no clearance on an exhaust valve, they get very hot and then they can burn the seats and what have you. So that's just uh, why we've done it that way. So anyway, I hope that helps anybody else trying to figure out the uh, the clearances on these bucket over shims because it can be a bit of a, a sort of thing to get your head around. Or oh, at least I found it that way anyway. But anyway, I hope that helps.